So we'll talk today on troubleshooting your furnace pressure switch. They could be a little black plastic disc, they could be a metallic disc like this, it just depends on the year the furnace was made or what part was installed at what time of the year. Like we said in another video, let's say 24 volt safety. How do we know it's 24 volts? We'll put a probe on a tab here, probe right there, meter says 27 which is a little, it's high, but it's normal because you have a relay for the blower motor, or the inducer motor, relay for gas valve, relay for the blower motor. By the time everything gets in, uh, activated or energized, it's going to drop down to 24 volts. Back in the old days, there wasn't as much stuff, so it would be 24 volts. So if your furnace says pressure switch stuck open, <clears throat> this is a safety, okay? I'm just going to cover some basics on troubleshooting. Let me give a call for heat here. And with the hose disconnected, it's going to say pressure switch stuck open. What you want to do, anytime you ohm out a component, you must isolate the component. You cannot leave both wires up and have it ohmed out. We're going to take the meter here, put it to ohms, touch the leads together, verify the meter works. So we'll put one probe down here on the metal for that tab, one probe right there, and lo and behold, it is OL on the meter, it means that pressure switch is open. It doesn't mean it's bad, it means it's open. Because it's a safety, you have to find out why is it open? On this furnace, for this demonstration, I made it pretty easy. Simply because I disconnected the hose. If I had the hose hooked up and did the same thing but plugged up the vent right there, I would get the same reading. It's not that the pressure switch is bad, there's something obstructing the inducer motor from allowing the vacuum to close that pressure switch. These are negative pressure switches. They close when the pressure is negative, not positive. The inducer could not run. If that was the case, you would still get a code saying pressure switch stuck open because the inducer is not running. You as the person who troubleshoots has to pick out why is this giving the code for it not closing. You can have the inducer motor running but the little squirrel cage inside that housing could be so rotted away that it can't move the air to close it. Because all this is going to do is prove you have air flow through your heat exchanger and you have air flow going up out the vent. That's all that safety device is going to do. Now, let's do a little different scenario in here right quick. And you can still see my meter. Good. It's almost like a professional doing these videos. So we got a call for heat. You know, remember, test your meter, make sure it's working. If you don't, you can die. So we've got that hooked up now, so see, we've got some type of ohms reading on here. It's bouncing around, cause, probably because it's an old meter. Now, these are normally open switches, which means when the power is off, it's open. When power is applied to the furnace, the inducer starts to close it. So before we had OL, now we've got a low ohms reading. It should be zero, but you know, this is an old meter of mine that I've had since 2007. But that's all you got to do for troubleshooting it. With the furnace on, Isolate the component by disconnecting one wire, let it run, and ohm it out. Now, 
I'd make sure my meter works a lot better before I would condemn this one. Either that or the corrosion on this pressure switch is causing that problem for it to read out. But if you have it, we'll disconnect this hose again. And the call for heat. Give it a call for heat. Because now... See how it says OL on my meter. In this situation, if this hose was hooked up, you could bet you have, might have a bad pressure switch. But, do not be afraid to disconnect that vent pipe there to prove you have the airflow to it. In fact, when the vent is plugged up or partially plugged, you notice how there's a tone change. Free flowing, slightly plugged, or completely plugged, I shouldn't say slightly. So listen to the furnace. The furnaces can tell you what's wrong. You just have to understand how they operate in order to know what's going on with it. So hopefully this, uh, you like my little explanation here. And it'll help you out on things. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Take it easy.